Taylor and Ken Burke. And Taylor wins the tip against Prasano Bell. A guy to watch for for South Carolina State is Brandon Riley. He's averaging over 20 points a game. We'll keep our eye on him as the game goes on. Well, Riley's one of those kids that can do it inside as well as out. Got a nice little 15-foot jump shot that he hits with regularity. So you've got to play him on the perimeter as well. Freshman Cameron Wright in the starting lineup. Dante Taylor left-handed jump hook. Offensive rebound to Nasir Robinson from Patterson. As the money man, Nasir <laughs> Robinson scores the first deuce. Well, he starts the game as he finished the game, his last game he played, but I thought he got away with a little hook around there to finish the layup. Point guard Khalif Toombs listed as 5'9". And Guy Ashton could post up tonight. You see that other part of his game, he doesn't get to show very often. That's right. Down low, Dante Taylor, intimidating factor right there, was able to get that shot altered, and we have a foul on South Carolina State. Good. Tonight's officials, Tim Clockerty, Jeff Clark, and Paul Zells joining us. Dante showed his experience on that particular play, held his ground in a pass where he may have reached in. They're going to need that guy on the floor, so you can't pick up little silly fouls early. Tim's picking up Gibbs high. You see Robinson. Drives into lane, kicks out to an open. Ashton Gibbs, who misses, rattles in and out. Still 2 0 pit here early on. South Carolina State from Orangeburg, South Carolina. Deep shot from Riley. And there's Brandon Riley with the three point basket as the Bulldogs take their first lead in this game. Nice shot from Riley. Yeah, he does a nice job, obviously, on the perimeter, but they also post him up uh, as well. They run a stagger string on the, on the weak side and try to get him on the block to post up a guard. Let's see if they do close that early. That's his 20th three-pointer of the season. The Bulldogs four and six on the year. Panthers with 14 on the shot clock. Patterson gets the screen. Deep jumper. It's a two, and it's good. An interesting mix of players from South Carolina State, from England, Serbia, Queens, South Carolina, Georgia. The give and go inside, Dante Taylor alters that one again. That's tapped out of bounds. It'll be the three-point percentage, a very equivalent type of player. Well, Gibbs isn't checking Riley right now, and I don't expect that he will. They have a bigger Cameron Wright guard him, which really makes sense. They want to put a bigger body on him. Deep three for Martin missed, then tapped away as Cameron Wright was leading the break. Over to Toombs. Toombs, left hand up and good. Khalif Toombs. Excellent body control and great finish with the left. We mentioned Toombs, the 5'9 junior point guard from Atlantic City. Lamar Patterson will try the three. It's good. Patterson coming off 12 points against Oklahoma State. Well, South Carolina State is playing a 1 2 2 zone. They're going to have to come out of that because the Panthers have three guys that can knock it down from the perimeter. Panthers shooting 44% from three this year. Martin drives, and he's going to pick up the charge. True for Redshirt. I don't know. I don't know if that guy's a freshman, man. Not the way he's been playing. John Johnson, one of my favorite players on the team. Martin already has two fouls for the Bulldogs. Johnson's beginning some open looks. You're going to think teams are going to start to realize the guy can shoot it. So can that guy, but he misses that one. Knocked out of bounds, two pit. They're going to favor his side if they play man to man. They usually leave. Oh, nice finish. Nice pass into Nasir Robinson. He misses the shot, gets his rebound, but then walks. If, even though you're not guarding him, you have a tendency to leave your man. And you can't do that when you have John Johnson's on the floor shooting almost 70% from three. Riley over to Prasano Bell. Back to Toombs. He's going to drive amongst the big boys. Floater no good. Offensive rebound to Riley. Good body control there from Riley, and we're tied at seven. Well, it's break for the guys, but some of the students have remained. John Johnson, a deep three, no good. Rebound, though, to Pitt and knocked away. You see Robinson grab that board, ball knocked away. Riley has it. We've already seen early on why the guy is averaging nearly 21 points a game. Ball inside. 
to Omar Sanders. He is basically their best player down low. And that ball is knocked away. Here comes Gibbs. Gibbs knocked away. Active hands from the Bulldog inbounds. Right in front of the South Carolina State bench. Panthers to leap Zana into the ball game for the first time for Dante Taylor. Jeff, that's a good point you bring up about Patterson and J.J. Moore, but they really don't lose a lot when Moore comes into the game because he can score the ball as well. No, they don't, although Patterson misses their rebound to Prasano Bell. Toombs running the offense, trying to get Bell to run through. Over to Joint. Joint drives it right side. He's going to try the lane and kick it back out. One thing we know about Khalif Toombs, he's not afraid to drive it inside, even at 5'9". Here comes Riley, the leading scorer. A blocking call called on the Sear Robinson and position outside of that new arc that they put up under the basket. That's Riley's first miss of the game. He has seven points, three of three from the floor. Ashton Gibbs passes up on the jumper. Over to Johnson. 24 on the shot clock. Panthers down two. South Carolina is playing sort of a two-three matchup right now, trying to confuse the Pitt Panthers offensively. Robinson over to John Johnson, 13 on the shot clock. And a blocking call. His first. That is the third on the Bulldogs. One on the Panthers so far. Inbounds to Nasir. Over to Lamar Patterson. Gets it over to Gibbs. They're trying inside there for Tlaib Zana. And early on, a bit of sloppy ball handling, Curtis. His nice move there from Lamar Patterson for seven points now. Well, that counts. Patterson is obviously keeping them uh, in the game so far, but the Panthers offensi uh, offensively have not been in rhythm at all, and you have to give South Carolina credit. They're doing a good job defensively. We're tied at nine. Out of the MEAC conference are the Bulldogs. Panthers playing straight-up man-to-man -man defense. Pick and roll for Riley. He'll try the three, and for the first time tonight, he'll miss. Here comes Ashton Gibbs after the rebound. Panthers tied. Gibbs pulls up from three. That's no good. And the ball kicked out of bounds. Two south kicking over the point and the more responsibilities that you have there. Well, you know, I, I had to do that as a player. You know, I went from point guard to two guard and back to the two guard position. And, you know, I understand how difficult it is. And until you actually do it, you have no clue. It's so much more responsibility as a point guard. And it takes so much more energy to play that position, and Ashton Gibbs is starting to realize that. Speaking of point guards, Khalif Toombs with the three. As South Carolina State is up three, we have Zana and Taylor in the game. J.J. Morris checked in for the Panthers. Now South Carolina is showing a 1-2-2 zone. Moore can also shoot it from outside. With man-to-man -man principles. And the ball knocked away. Khalif Zana couldn't control that bounce pass, and here come the Bulldogs up three. Twenty on the shot clock for South Carolina State. They're five of eleven shooting so far in this game. Normally give up seventy-six points a game. They're playing decent defense so far, and here comes Riley, their leading scorer. Double team, is able to break it. Try to look for a shot, but he couldn't. One on the shot clock. Time's going to expire. Good defense from the Panthers. Very good defense, and Riley had no. You're not going to get help in this building. <laughs> not at all. Comes Gibbs over to Johnson. J.J. Moore. Who will probably see more minutes, pardon the pun, and hitting the three with Kem Birch out of the, out of the program. Well, we've talked about J.J. Moore being an outstanding player in, the, in, in transition, but we also talked about not losing a lot when Patterson goes out because he can shoot the ball from the perimeter as he just showed you there. And Riley can also shoot the ball, and he answers with another three as the Bulldogs go back up three. Three of five they are. Now, for the year, they don't shoot that well from three, but they're hot tonight. Well, it's quite obvious that if they're going to stay in this game, Riley is going to be the guy that needs to keep him in the game. You would think that the Panthers know, understand the scouting report and what this guy habits are. Wow! Ashton gives to Dante Taylor. We talked about taking it aggressive to the hoop at the top of the show. And that's the way you do it, big fella. We've seen two things. We've seen that monster jam, and even though he missed it, the left-handed hook, some more of his offensive game has been emerging as this season 
continues to roll on. Deep from the corner, no good. Rebound to on Over to Gibbs. Gibbs down to Johnson. Johnson stops, lays it up and in. The Panthers back in the lead. Good heads up play by Johnson to even fake the ball to Tlaib and finish it himself. South Carolina State's coach Tim Carter saying, Just calm down, guys. There's been six lead changes in this game. Watch the tempo pick up defensively now that John Johnson's in the game. He puts much more ball pressure on the basketball. Luke Radovich from Serbia in the game for the Bulldogs. And Tlaib Zana will pick up the blocking. Averaging 31% from three, but tonight they're knocking it down in, in large part due to Raleigh and his exploits. And he's the guy that carries them offensively, and he's done it so far here tonight. Ten points already for Riley. 20 on the shot clock. Riley out of the game at this point. We'll see how long that continues for South Carolina State. Eight on the shot clock, knocked away by Cameron Wright. Wright has it now. Got alley-oop to Moore! <laughs> yes, sir! Great defensive play by Cameron Wright, and way to finish it on the other end by sending it in, J.J. Moore. And that was not easy. He had to go up over a Bulldog to put that one down. You can see why he won the slam dunk <laughs> during the blue-gold scrimmage. Barber inside. He throws it up, and it's good. Boy, acrobatic shot from Shaquille by game. No good rebound to Dante Taylor. Oh, Isaiah Epps into the game for the Panthers. So it's Epps, Cameron Wright, Dante Taylor, Nasir Robinson, and J.J. Moore. Isaiah Epps is another kid that can shoot from the, from the perimeter, not known as a very good ball handler. He's not going to get in the seams and create much havoc in terms of penetrating, but he can knock down the open jump shot. And another freshman that's playing key minutes for the Panthers. Epps has it, eight on the shot clock. Dante Taylor, the jumper, in and out, no good. Radovic with the rebound. Here come the Bulldogs, down one point. They're four and six on the season. And they're doing without their leading score right now. Sanders from deep. That bounces off of Radovic, able to get an offensive rebound. But it hits, I think, the bottom of the backboard and out of bounds. Gibbs back into the game. Yeah, well, Aston Gibbs has done a good job at the point guard, but there's no, no mistakes about it. They miss Woodall. Right now, in the, the Panthers, five assists on four turnovers. Not a very good turnover assist ratio, but with Woodall being out, you know, that's not bad. Gibbs is going to drive the lane and pulls it back out wisely as the double team was coming. Trap gets it over to Patterson to right. 14 on the shot clock. Gibbs will try from the corner from three. No good. Nasir Robinson called for an offensive foul. The State is doing a good job of disguising their defense, Jeff. They're playing a 2-3 zone, and mixing it up, a little 1-2-2 two, two zone, all with man-to-man -man principles. If the guy's in your area, they're matching up. And that's two fouls on Nasir, and he'll sit for a little bit here in the first half. Well, probably the entire first half, as you see the travel there. I assume Riley's going to run a little point here for the Bulldogs. Well, he can do it all for them. So it's the two leading scorers running the point here in this game. Cameron Wright, pass up an opportunity at three. Gibbs is going to drive. Nice move around the end, but he steps on the baseline. South Carolina, three, the best. three hours after tip-off, tune in to Pitt Panthers Television for Coach Dixon's post-game press conference, presented by People's Natural Gas. Missed shot, rebound to Cameron Wright. Here come the Panthers the other way. Wright drives, gets it over to Patterson, and out of bounds. That is the sixth. Turnover one, obviously. Well, not at all, but you know, you're going to see a, a lot more teams play the Panthers this way. They're almost having a 3-2 zone, and they're putting, obviously, as much press, uh, pressure up top on the perimeter as they can because that's where the jump shooters are, and it's forcing the Panthers now into six turnovers. Ball inside to the Serbian who tries to drive on Dante Taylor, and he's able to pin him against the baseline. And Ray Curtis. No, I was just going to say, Radicic is one of those kind of guys that they don't typically call his number. He's a guy that gets second and third chance opportunities off of rebounds. That time he uh, was obviously out of position and was out of bounds. 
Gives to Patterson inside to Zana. The late footer, no good. Rebound to South Carolina State. Comes Barber. He's going to hand it off to Riley, who's back in the game. Ten points early on in this game for Riley. Takes the shot there. Over to Joint. 20 on the shot clock. Bulldogs do have a shot clock violation already in the first half. Joe, I can win. That, that is how you pronounce his last name, the young man from England. And we'll have a blocking foul on Lamar Patterson with six on the shot clock, and Riley will go to the line. Panthers haven't been to the line at all. To the line, you got to get the ball to the rim. And the Panthers commit their fifth foul, so still no one on one. Inbounds right next to Jamie Dixon and Mr. Hillgrove and Mr. Grove. Ball inside to Radovich, being guarded by Taylor. He tries to make a move, but gets it back out to I can win. He now gets it to Riley. Riley stops, delivers it out, 19 on the shot clock for South Carolina State, trailing by just one against the 14th-ranked Panthers. Riley, deep three, contested three. Smooth, smooth. And it's 2018, Bulldogs. They did a good job. You know, they set a high ball screen, and... Ashton was expecting him to go off the screen, but he stayed ball side and pulled up in his face. Taylor had his man pinned there, but Gibbs couldn't find a lane to get it to him. Patterson top of the key. Dribbling. Zana gets it out to Gibbs, but that's where you really like to have that offense run through. Partially blocked shot there from John Johnson. Both players go down. Ouch is right. He looks a little... Worse for the wear. We'll hope he's okay. South Carolina State up two. They have the ball. I take that back. He did take a little blow. Barber over to Riley. Riley. Third.